Hi everybody, I'm Lynn Doughty from Century 21 Adams, and I'm the local sponsor of a website called Park Bench where we feature local business owners. And today I have a special privilege on my first Zoom interview of interviewing Conchetta Spirio. She's a local attorney and she's gonna tell us a little bit about what she does and her holistic approach. Well, hello Conchetta, nice Hi, to meet Lynn, you. Hi Lynn, and ha thanks for having me. And Zoom is a lot of fun and a lot of people don't realize, but this is where we are all residing today. That's uh, right. Because everything has been, you know, because of the health issues, we're now going virtual. And I can't tell you how many, um, how well we're using this medium with respect to, oops, sorry, uh, with respect <laughs> to <laughs> going on in the world, uh, not only for clients, but for meeting professionals and even our networking groups are doing this virtually now so that we can be. And even on the fun side, having a cocktail party virtually. Uh, we did that with a bunch of friends the other night and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> That's great. You know, we have to be really creative with that. And speaking of creative, I know you are very creative in your professional life. Because when I first met you at a networking event and you, you know, stood up and you spoke about what you're doing, uh, I, I'm excited to share that with everybody. So tell us a little bit about what you do as an attorney and, and you know what makes you different well i've been in practice for over 30 years so that's a long time um so i've seen a lot of different things and watched the, the practice of law change um and i've done a vast amount of different types of areas of law so i've done real estate i've done your small wills trust and estates i've done all kinds of civil litigation and otherwise um but more importantly and you know as i've developed my practice different things have come up um, and one of the most exciting things for me is, and I've been doing this for many, many years, mediation is something people know about. Um, it's a process that I've been trained in for a very long time. What they don't know about is a process called collaborative process. Um, so in the matrimonial field, as an example, you can use it in many, many ways, in many areas. Um, it's a different way to get divorced without having to go through the toxic court system, uh, not only for the cost benefit, but also for me, it's a much more holistic approach for my clients. Um, the bottom line is if you're married and have children, you're never truly divorced. You wanna be a part of your children's lives, your grandchildren's life, God, you know, God willing and God bless. Um, right. And all the events that happen in life that happen, right. you know, regardless of what happens with that particular couple. That's and if you can do yeah. that with a framework of have, being able to work with each other and tolerate each other, even if the divorce itself and what brought it on may have been toxic and, you know, um, contentious, there's a way to work your way through that. You may not be the best of friends on the other end, but there's a way to go through that process in a much more holistic way. And one of those is mediation and the other is collaborative and collaborative divorce or collaborative law. I can tell you most professional attorneys don't know what it is. Um, it's not that it's new, it's been around for decades, but on Long Island, it's something that most people don't know about and don't I'm know. I'm glad we get to out. share it. I'm so glad that we're getting to share a little bit of a glimpse and I'm going to put, a, you know, some of this information in a blog and, you know, some links and things of that nature on your profile page so people can really get to know it. Um, One of the things I will give you also, yeah. Lynn, uh, which I didn't think of, uh, I'm going to give you a website that is a group of professionals like myself that have dedicated themselves to this process. And we created a website so that people can find out not only about the process, but if they wanna to talk to one of the professionals. And it's just not lawyers, I'm a lawyer, and I've been trained in this method, and it's a very different mindset on how to approach the problem. But there are also financial professionals, as well as mental health professionals that are part of this process, because you work as a team uh, with mm -hmm. the clients um, to get through this process. And it's, a, it's much more cost effective than doing a litigated divorce where everybody's in the court. And a lot of people don't realize, do you really want your relationship, you know, you know, played out in a courtroom? It can be very, very intimidating and very scary and very ugly. Um, and it's good for that, people to know. <laughs> it is. And, and people don't realize the cost that is involved because if you're going through a collaborative process or a mediation process, then you can control the process. And the process is much more focused on the client. If you're in the court system, you're on the court's calendar and you have to, you know, do what the court dictates. And that many times is sitting around for hours in the courthouse until you get a few minutes 
of the judge's time to check in on your case. And oh, then you get another date for three or four weeks down the road. So, and it gets protracted and, uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, nobody gets divorced for free, but, and if you use a professional that's seasoned like me, the hourly rates can get up there. And if you use me in a, in a litigated sense, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more than if you use a holistic approach. Extremely, extremely uh, beneficial for people to look into. Uh, so let me just ask you a little bit about your hobbies. What, what else makes you happy in life? What do you like to do? I like lots of things. Um, I've become passionate. I've always been, let me say this, I'm Italian, <laughs> okay? So, and my mother's Belgian, but she cooked better than most Italians I know. Um, so food was always a passion in my house. Um, not only the eating of it, but the, the, the creation of it from good scratch, home cooked meals. So in my house, when I grew up, there was no going out to dinner. There was, my mother cooked a, a meal that had two fresh vegetables, not out of the can. Uh, that's just how I grew up. Uh, so I have a passion for cooking, as some people know that I, I am also doing Pampered Chef, and I have a, uh, a Facebook personality, so to speak, with respect to that. <laughs> That's great. Uh, That's a healthy balance. It is. You know, and I have to say, it's not something that I thought I would have gotten involved with, but I was very fortunate that somebody asked me to take on this opportunity, and I found that it's a nice side diversion from my law practice. Because I have a, I have to cook anyway, so to some extent, and it's it's fun, it's passionate, and I actually do cooking parties. So not right now, we're doing them virtually. <laughs> but that's right, that's right. Well, um, is there anything else that you want to share? Uh, you know, before we go, that um, about what you're doing right now, maybe maybe what your goals are for the very near future. Well, I want everybody to know that there are a lot of professionals like myself out there that are trying to help the public deal with what's going on. So if anybody has any questions, I mean, you can check out my website, which is spiriallaw.com. Uh, there's information and there's even a video about how the collaborative process works. But uh, I have a, what I call an open phone policy. If you have a problem and you need a lawyer's advice or information, you can contact me and I'll try to help you. I don't necessarily give free legal advice. I'm not allowed to do that. I have to represent somebody before I can give them legal advice. But if you need, you have a problem, I can either, if I can't handle it and don't know the answer to it, then I can at least, you know, put you in the right direction or put you in the hands of somebody. And even if you have a question that you don't know where to go with, um, I've been around for a very long time. So, um, and I'm seasoned in a lot of different areas. Um, you're free to call. You know what? I just feel like anybody out there can say, hey, you know, hey, I've got a friend on the other end of the phone because now we've met you and uh, I appreciate this time. And if anyone would like more information about Conchetta, uh, you can find all of her information in the blog and she will have a profile page. And um, if anyone would like to be interviewed, uh, please give me a call. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much, Lynn, and I would highly recommend Lynn because she does wonderful work within the community as well as what she does in real estate, and I feel privileged that she wanted to bring me on her park bench. Thank you very much. All right, you take